fighter pilot needed in Scepter Wars. Play Astro Blaster. The Atari 7800 is a system with a fairly small library of games, with just under 60 titles officially released for the system. Thankfully, there is an excellent homebrew scene for the system, and some very talented programmers, including Robert D. Crescenzo, whose impressive Atari 7800 homebrew resume includes titles like the Pac-Man Collection, Frenzy, Scramble, Moon Cresta, and many others. One of his latest titles continues to impress with the excellent port of Sega's 1981 shooter, Astro Blaster, released in 2014 for the 7800 and currently available in the Atari Age online store. The game greets you with a nice menu with options for one or two players, the choice of three or five lives, I always choose five, and an option for guided shots, which certainly comes in handy. Gameplay is similar to the other fixed space shooters of that time, with the player controlling a lone ship at the bottom of the screen as he or she fights through wave after wave of enemies, divided into sectors, in an attempt to dock with the mothership to refuel and continue the battle with a new sector of aliens, of which the game contains a staggering variation with 29 different squadrons. Each alien squadron has its own unique pattern and attack, some of which will surely challenge even the best player. At the end of each sector, the player must navigate an asteroid field and shoot the red fireballs, if possible, to receive extra fuel. You also receive a full tank of fuel upon docking with the mothership. Fuel is critical in the game and must be monitored since an empty tank will blow up your ship and end your whole game, which forces the player to complete each sector as quickly as possible. Another interesting aspect and challenge of the game is the laser temperature. As the player fires, the ship's laser temperature rises, so firing in rapid succession can cause the laser to overheat and stop working until it cools down, leaving the player vulnerable and wasting valuable time to get through the sector before fuel runs out, so precision shots are imperative to making a deep run through the game. The game also contains a warp. By pressing the second button on the Atari 7800 controller, a warp is activated, which slows down both the enemies on screen and their shots, which allows the player to quickly pick off enemies. There is one warp per ship, with bonus warps upon docking, so save your warps for the fastest and hardest enemies. If the game looks slightly familiar, you're not alone. Astro Blaster bears a striking resemblance to Activision's Mega Mania for the Atari 2600, including various enemies with different attacks, a similar fuel system, and even similar looking player ships. This Atari 7800 port is certainly another feather in the cap of Robert Di Crescenzo. The graphics, sound effects, and gameplay are virtually spot on, and the voice at the beginning of the game letting eager pilots know that they're needed in the Sector Wars is an impressive feat for the 7800. For those of us who own and love these great Atari systems, like the 7800, we should be so thankful for those like Mr. Di Crescenzo, who pour their heart and soul into creating these fantastic games for us to enjoy. Your game library can only improve by having one of his gems in your collection, and Astro Blaster certainly fits that bill in spades. This is Atari Leaf. Thanks for watching as always. Have a great day.